I'm Gray for How Bizarre Studios, and in this video I will be talking about Jenica. Jenica, or also Jenny, or Jen for short, was the ninja Chunin of Splinter's Foot Clan, and a dear friend of the Turtles. Originally human, she is now a mutant turtle after an emergency blood transfusion by Leonardo. She wields traditional Teko Kage with four blades. She debuted in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 51 in October 2015, and was mutated in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 95 in July 2019. Her story is still ongoing, and she already had two miniseries of her own. She was created by Tom Waltz and Ken Gehring. Jenica's mutant form was designed by Sophie Campbell. Her bandana is yellow, similar to Campbell's fan character, Artemisia, but the color was requested by Tom Waltz to match her hair color, and the color synchronicity was purely incidental. The idea of Jenica becoming a mutant turtle was tossed around for three years before being finalized. Jenica was a young foot assassin and a loyalist to the Foot Clan, rather than to the Shredder. As a young girl, she ran away from home after seeing her father beating up her mother, and lived on the streets afterwards. She took up with a young man who pulled her into a life of petty robbery, which ultimately led to her imprisonment as an accessory to murder. In prison, an imprisoned foot ninja defended her from other convicts and became her friend. The woman trained Jenica in secret as they plotted to escape the prison, but Jenica's friend was killed by another inmate just as they had gained their freedom. She found her way to the foot and became one of their number, using her newfound skills to kill the woman who murdered her friend. After Shredder's death, she distrusted the new leader, Splinter. She was convinced that he was weakening the Foot Clan, with his unwillingness to kill without hesitation, believing that quick and deadly action was necessary to remain supreme. As a result, she secretly associated herself with Darius Dunn and the Street Phantoms. When the Phantoms attacked the Foot Clan, Jenica attempted to kill Splinter in single combat, but was defeated quickly. After Splinter humbled her, she pledged her service to the Foot's new leader, and his sons. Splinter believed in her change of heart. During the Triceraton invasion, it was confirmed that Splinter had selected her as his new Chunin, officially replacing Leonardo. She was deeply conflicted about Splinter's plans to kill Commander Zom, eventually arranging for the Turtles' escape from the Foot Clan headquarters in order to stop him. She was not penalized for her disobedience after the invasion ended, and was instead sent out by Splinter to protect Casey Jones. The two developed feelings for one another as time went on. After the Turtles brought a number of orphan children to the Foot Clan, Jenica helped care for them. When Karai returned from Japan, Splinter was willing to cede leadership of the Foot to her, were it not for her insistence that the children be trained as soldiers. Jenica came to Splinter's aid as negotiations failed and Karai was denied the gauntlet. With her attempt to reclaim leadership of the Foot having failed, Karai declared that war would be coming to Splinter and those loyal to him. A short while later, Karai stabbed her as the first act in her war to retake the foot from Splinter. In a desperate attempt to save her life, the clan Amato and their allies tried to use the ooze to heal her, as it was done for April's father before. However, that vial was lost in a firefight. With time running out, Donatello had Leonardo transfer his blood to her to aid her recovery. This saved her life, but also mutated her into a turtle. Waking up as her mutation completed, Jenica was initially confused about the changes she had undergone. After repelling an attack from Karai's assassins, Jenica reconciled with Casey, who put aside his initial lukewarm reactions to her change once he saw her saving her friends. After Hob and the Mutanimals detonated a mutagen bomb in a section of Manhattan, the area was isolated from the rest of the city. The new mutant population of this mutant town strived to survive with the little rations the city sent to them. Jenica and the Turtles decided to open a dojo for the Splinter Clan, teaching mutants and creating a community to help them cope with their changes, as well as helping themselves find a new purpose after Splinter's death. In the time-traveling Lita's timeline, Jenica becomes a crime lord after a Pyrrhic victory against Karai's clan. Jenica has a tough girl persona, but is really sweet and caring. Like Raphael, she has a lot of anger issues, but is better at controlling her temper than he is, and has better manners. She is also a big fan of heavy metal music. She has accepted her mutation, as she always felt different, and this is just a more physical representation of that. That is all for this video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and share with other Turtle fans.